Hello, welcome to another episode of Learn Technology in 5 Minutes from Makerdemy and I am Venkatesh, the founder of Makerdemy. In this episode, we will take a first look at Coap, an application layer protocol designed for the Internet of Things. The Coap stands for Constrained Application Protocol and was created by the Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF. What do you think are the constraints that this protocol is intended to address? As we have seen in our previous episodes, a lot of IoT applications are built to operate in constrained environments and devices. Uh, we are talking of small constrained embedded devices running on batteries and with very low ROM and RAM. We are also talking of low power, low bandwidth and lossy networks such as IPv6 over low power wireless area networks, also known as the 6 low pan. Simplistically, you can think of CoAP as HTTP that runs on UDP. While the HTTP protocol runs on TCP, is document centric, text based, and easy to read, it is an overkill when it comes to IoT, where oftentimes all we want is to read data from sensors. The CoAP is a machine to machine application layer protocol that runs on UDP. Let us now look at some of the features of CoAP. The CoAP runs on UDP and is therefore a connectionless protocol. The CoAP is an asynchronous and a lightweight protocol. The CoAP is a very efficient, restful protocol with a small and simple 4 byte header. The CoAP is a one to one protocol built based on the request response client server paradigm and is quite similar to HTTP. The CoAP supports built in discovery of services and resources. The CoAP is built to easily interface with HTTP by design for seamless integration with the web while at the same time being compatible with constrained devices and networks. CoAP supports get, post, put, and delete just like the HTTP. However, unlike HTTP, CoAP deals with these exchanges asynchronously over UDP. Even though the CoAP is built on top of UDP, it comes with optional reliability. The CoAP defines four kinds of messages confirmable, non confirmable, acknowledgement, and reset. Requests and responses are carried in confirmable and non confirmable messages. That is all from me in this video. We will take an in depth view of CoAP in our future videos. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so that you don't miss out on our future videos.